Welcome to part 4 on vector applications. In this video, we're just going to look at the steps to create a matrix in your calculator. Remember, a matrix allows you to do many things, but one of them specifically that we'll be using in this class is solving a system of equations very quickly. If you want to create a matrix, press Matrix, Edit, Enter, and put in the correct dimensions and fill in the elements. Remember, you'll always want to go with number of rows. By number of columns. When you're defining the correct dimensions of your matrix. To add, subtract, divide, or multiply two matrices, press matrix, arrow down to the matrix you want, press enter. This will put the matrix in your calculator screen. Then press the appropriate operation, plus, minus, divide, multiply, etc. Then step four would be to press matrix and arrow down to the matrix you want to add and press enter. If you press enter again, it will give you the calculation of either add, subtract, divide, or multiply of those two matrices. If you want to solve linear equations using matrices, first you create a coefficient matrix corresponding to the equation. And if you don't know what that means, let's look at the example. We have a system of equations x plus y equals 1800 and 20x plus 40y equals 42,000. If we wanted to create the augmented matrix, we assume that the third column is on the other side of the equal sign, and we call that an augmented matrix. We also assume that the columns have a variable that match. So the first column has x as the assumed factor next to it, and the second column has the assumed y factor associated with it. The reduced row echelon form of the matrix is 1, 0, 1, 5, 0, 0, 0, 1, 300. So the solution given is x equals 1500 and y equals 300. Let's quickly put this in our calculator so you can see how this works. First, we go to second matrix, edit, and then define the dimensions. We have two rows and three columns, so our two by three matrix is still fine. We'll enter one row first, one, one, 1800. And the second row will be 20, 40, 42,000. And now we've entered all our data in the matrix. We'll go to second matrix, arrow to math, and then arrow until I find row reduced echelon form or RREF. At this point, do second quit. After we've exited out of the matrix, we'll do second matrix math, and then find row reduced echelon form, RREF. And then we need to find the matrix to put in there. So we'll do second matrix, and we edited matrix A. So we'll select matrix A, and then hit enter. And we can see that we get the same row reduced echelon form as what's given here. I'd recommend you pause the video and attempt this on your own.